Hey everyone, we're going to take a look at how to install cruise control. The current version is 0 0.5 and uh, let's go ahead and get it. So the first thing is to download it from RubyForge. Cruise control RB is the name of the project. Uh, just, I'm going to go browse the file section and download 0 0.5 or the latest version. It's downloaded and should get compressed here in my desktop. So let's go to it in a terminal window. And uh, the first thing to do is go ahead and add a project. So it's pretty easy. Uh, from within the cruise con control directory, we're going to go to cruise, uh, add, and then the name of the project. In my case, I'm going to add a project called Shimmer. It's a open source project that I'm a committer on. Um, and uh, aside from the name of the project, you'll need the URL. So this one's on Ruby Forge. It's important to note that um, this directory has to be the directory that a rake, a rake file is inside of. So if this is actually where it is and you put the trunk, um, it'll, control, it'll confuse cruise control. Or if you put this directory and you're actually looking for the trunk, just make sure that whatever directory that is has rake, a rake file inside of it. So I'll go ahead and add the project. And uh, it's added. It means it's downloaded. Um, and the next thing is to just go ahead and start cruise control. Um, as you can see, it started by default on port 3333. You can change that um, with regular web brick commands. Um, and it said the build failed. Let's go take a look on the, on the web app. So this is the uh, cruise control page that we just uh, Set up. So here's Shimmer. It says it's failing. Let's go click on that. Why is it failing? Um, so I've actually seen this a few times. Uh, initializer in read no such file or directory database.yaml. Yeah, that makes sense. I haven't actually set up a test database on this machine. So let's go back to Finder. We can go look. Um, it's important to know that uh, the projects that you install. Uh, with Cruise are actually located in projects underneath the Cruise Control directory. So if we go in there, we see Shimmer, and um, the actual project itself is inside of Work. So we can go into the config directory in there, and we see, sure enough, an example database and no um, actual database.yaml. So let's just copy that and uh, rename this to database.yaml. And uh, let's see what it's actually looking for. It's looking for a database called Shimmer Test for the unit tests, or for the, the tests at all. So let's go ahead and make sure that we have one. Uh, we don't, so we'll go ahead and create a database on this box. And let's see if that works. That'll force a build. From the main cruise page, it uh, automatically pings the server. So you'll see this uh, little build thing, and it looks like we have a successful build. It took seven seconds, and we can see the build log here. Uh, and as you can see, it uh, did some migration stuff. By default, we'll actually do migration on a Rails project if those tasks are around. Um, and yeah, that's it. That's uh, vanilla creating, uh, downloading uh, Cruise Control and installing a web project. Uh, thank you for your time.